Hi everyone, welcome back. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season and a happy 2017 to come. So for this video, I'm going to be going over my recent, let's see, I can't hold it all, my ColourPop haul. Um, these are all Kathleen Light's favorites and they were all 20% off, so I kind of went ham on it and I thought I'd do a little review on each of the products I purchased. And um, another thing is like 2016 for me was a year of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I, I got like pretty much everything from them, the brows, eyes, lips, foundation, and I just fell in love with that brand. But I think 2017 might be ColourPop, and I'm really surprised I haven't tried it already. So um, anyway, I'm sad, excited to try more of their stuff. As you can see as I go through my review that I'm, you know, pretty impressed. Anyway, um, I did record a tutorial for this eye look I'm wearing right now. And if you're not interested in the review, I'll link in the description box the timestamp of which the tutorial starts. And I did use um, the Kathleen Lights Where the Night Is um, quad for my eyes. And then I used the, the um, lips and the creme gel liner. Bear, so... Anyway, let's get right into the review. I'm going to start off with the creme gel pencils. I got three. Um, uh, I'll show you swatches. First is Teaspoon, which is a green. And it's like an emerald green. I haven't personally used it yet, but it's so pretty. And one of my goals for 2017 is to really branch out to new looks, more bold looks. So I think this would be a good start. Um, well, based off the two that I have used already, um, Mr. Bing, which is a rich brown matte, and then Call Me, which is like a more plum brown. If you want to work on your bottom lash line but kind of too afraid to really go into it, it's like a perfect way to kind of start, you know, venturing into that. So I'm really impressed with these so far. The only thing is like if it's a brand, like there's some like wax on top of the tip, so you kind of want to warm it up first on your hand before you apply it. So. I got these three. I like it so far. Can't wait to try the teaspoon to see how it looks on me. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. Next product I got was the Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop Where the Night Is Quad. She has another one, um, Where the Light Is, which I didn't get because the colors were a lot uh, really similar to what I already have in my collection. So um, that's why I went with Where the Night Is. Plus, it's like more bold colors. And like I said, I really wanted to explore the, my limit or my boundaries with makeup, with my eye looks. So I went with the more <laughs> bold colors here. And I'll show you swatches. The first one is Telepathy, then Weenie, Porter, and Midnight. The first one, Telepathy, that I showed, which right here, is really a nice gold color. Super metallic, as you can see. And I have it like on my eyeballs right here, kind of like um, a highlight in the middle of my eyelid and it's so nice it's it's best applied with your fingers these all these shadows and then the next one I had on my swatch was weenie which is this really metallic rose gold so you can see I used it a few times this is really perfect like if you don't want to go too bold with any of these colors this is like the most subtle one it's like just, I, one time I just put it on my eyelid and just kind of blended it out and that's all I wore. It is super pretty. Um, so this is more the toned down ones of the four. The next one I showed was Porter, which I'm wearing all over my lid right now. It's a really like burgundy and it has kind of like gold flecks and I don't know if you can see in here. But um, it is, it's, it's probably my favorite color at least out of this quad. And as you can see, like it's kind of different for me to wear like it's really I love like kind of warm pink red color so this is perfect um, for me uh, this is kind of more like a for me like I wouldn't wear it maybe I wear it to work but I would like love to wear this like on a night out or something and the last color I showed was midnight and it's a black shadow with like gold glitter kind of has, like a hint of green to it I haven't used this one yet, but I can really, this will probably be like an ultra fancy color for me. I found that with these creme gel shadows, it's best to use your finger 
and I used like a synthetic brush to kind of really blend it out. That's the best way I used it. Um, another point is to make sure you use eye primer or concealer over your eyelid because it does crease a little. It's not too dramatic. Uh, I found that at the end of the work day I did see some creasing. It's not too bad, but if you really want the staying power, I would recommend a primer. Okay, next up I have two lip colors, also a Kathleen Lights collaboration. And I'll show you swatches of Lumiere. And then a swatch of Aquarius. And the, my favorite of the two is definitely Aquarius. It's like a lip color I haven't really tried before. And it's like really kind of like a brown pink nude. I love it. I'm wearing it right now. It's my favorite out of the two. And then Aquarius is like a mauve pink. Maybe something I wear like if I'm going for like a really simple daytime look. I love both, but out of the two, I like Aquarius. And another thing I love about these lippy sticks is like, first of all, I only used like liquid lipstick last year, so using like an actual lipstick was kind of different for me, and I really love it so far. And um, these lippy sticks by ColourPop are infused with vitamin E and mango, and it's super hydrating, and it's definitely a lifesaver for like, I live in Minnesota this winter right now, so. I love the refreshing feel it gives me when I wear this. The only thing is that um, I have to reply. It transfers pretty easily like on straws or whatever. So if I just like bring this around, I kind of apply it after I eat or whatever. So um, another tip is like I use the eye or not eyeliner, the lip liner to um, color in my lips and then add the lippy stick above it. I found that if you don't have this on you, It'll still, the color will still be there just because you have the lip liner. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> just because you have the lip liner at the bottom as a base. So that was a quick review of the ColourPop items that I got. I'm super excited about them. I love them so much. And I already have some other ColourPop items in my cart that I'm just kind of waiting to hit order on. I'm so excited about, you know, using more of their products in the future. So. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I do have a tutorial right after this, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, you know, keep watching. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video next Wednesday. Bye! First, I'm going to take the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott, and I'm just going to pat that all over my lid with my finger. Then, taking the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to set the primer using the shade Tempura. And I'm just using the brush that came with the uh, palette. Then, I'm taking the shade Buon Fresco. It's um, I'm gonna use that same side of that Anastasia brush that came with the palette. I'm just gonna swipe that all over my crease. Next, taking one of the quads from the Where the Night Is in the shade Border. I'm going to use my finger to pat all over my lid. Then I'm going to take the Blonde Fresco shade again just to kind of blend those two colors together. Then taking Red Ochre. I'm going to focus that on the outer V of my eyelid. And taking the second quad, oops, it's upside down, okay, telepathy, and use my pinky finger to kind of um, focus on the inner or like the middle part of my eyelid to kind of create that halo effect. Then I'm just blending again, just to make sure everything is perfect. Now I'm going to take the shade Vermeer as my brow bone highlight. That's it for the eyes for now. I'm going to do my face. I'm going to start with the 
professional primer by Benefit. I just I kind of pat it towards like my problematic areas. So nose, T-zone, cheeks, and chin. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the, sh on the shade Sand Beige, I think. And just put it all over my um, problem spots, which you know there's a lot, but you know, it does the job. And I just kind of blend it with my Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. I'm in the shade Warm Natural. And I'm just going to draw like whiskers and then highlight my points of my face. And I did a video on this. I'm going to link it in the description box. And I said that I like the Beauty Blender a lot better. But as I used it for a couple months now, um, I like using my fingers a lot. So there's that. I'm going to work on my eyebrows now. I'm using, again, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. I really have defined brows. I just kind of use it to fill in any, op um, any open spaces. Kind of define them a little bit more. And I kind of use the brush to kind of blend out the uh, line that I drew. Taking the, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade of Night Contour Palette. I'm going to brighten my under eye using that second highlight shade there. I'm also going to um, do the top of my nose and my cupid's bow and chin. I'm going to take that first contour shade and really define my cheekbones and briefly my nose. I'm going to use the Mel Cosmetics blush in the shade blonde. And that was really fast. <laughs> and I'm going to um, now work on my lower lash line, line I'm going to take the red ochre shade and just lightly blend it on the bottom. I'm going to take uh, the shade Primavera using a pointed brush and highlight my inner corner. Now I'm going to use the creme gel liner from ColourPop in the shade Mr. Bean. I'm just gonna smudge that, kind of like blend it with the red ochre shade from the Modern Red Moss palette to really define my lower lash line even more. I find that the brown really complements with this look here. I'm gonna take the Aquarius lip and lippy stick combo. Now I'm gonna outline my lips first and then fill them in. And I forgot mascara during the eye part, so I'm just doing that last. I usually don't do this last, but using the Doucet mascara in black. And that's it. It's a really, I feel like it's a simple but bold routine. Um, I really liked how this turned out. I hope you did too. I found that the shades from the Modern Renaissance Pod can be substituted with a couple shades from the Kali Bible Planet or something more affordable. So there is that. I hope you liked it and I hope to see you in my next video in a week. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye!